In today's video, we are going to discuss VAT reporting based on cash or accrual basis. So if you're operating in a country where you have the choice between the two, you can go to Setup, Accounting, and Setup Taxes. Right there, you'll have the ability to enable cash basis or leave it as accrual. So once you decide on that preference, you just click on save. And whenever you go to reports and you go to VAT and international tax report, whatever you run that tax report is going to be based on that preference. Now you're going to repeat this for every country that your subsidiary is operating, just to make sure that you know they are actually set to be running the taxes as they should. If you don't see this option, it means that the company that your subsidiary is uh, operating in uh, do not allow for this choice. So it's either going to be cash basis or accrual. But some of the countries like France and Australia and maybe Singapore uh, allow this. Okay, so just make sure that all the countries are set correctly. Now, if within a single country, you might have some companies who want to run their VAT on cash basis and others on accrual. And what you can do is you can go and customize uh, these odd subsidiaries that need to run their VAT or report their VAT on a different basis by going to reports, VAT GST, and then customizing the sales or the purchases VAT uh, accordingly. Now, what that means is if I have a look at the detail here on the sales taxes, and let's say this is for the French subsidiary, and let's say most of the subsidiaries operate on cash basis, but a couple of them operate on accrual, I could decide to customize a report for these specific subsidiaries and say, okay, you guys are not going to be running on cash basis, but on accrual. So here on cash basis, it can either be enabled, so if the subsidiary needs to run the VAT uh, report on cash basis, or disabled so that it's, uh, it's run actually on accrual basis. So save this, re well, rename this report appropriately, uh, give it the right accessors and share it to the right people, and then save and run it, use it, and don't forget to subscribe to like and comment this video if you learned something today. Thank you and see you soon for the next video on Netsuite. Goodbye.